like if there's 30 seconds left in the game and you're up two and the other team's got the ball and they're dribbling across half court, can you just punch a dude in his junk? I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. Can you just totally break the rules? Can you just spit on a guy or bite him or something? I mean, what? Well, I've dude. done all. Of, I've done every single thing you just mentioned <laughs> in uh, various different sports, and it is not recommended. No, they call that kind of stuff on you. Yeah, big time. They <laughs> even suspend for that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's a little, you know. I mean, come on. Uh, there's another thing. What the H, right? Yeah, so. th- yeah. That's a good what the H. That's a good what the H. Another thing, and uh, Mark has just brought this up in the chat room. Dwight Howard been suspended for one game. For the elbow, he threw it. Samuel D'Alembert. Knucklehead. Did you see that game? Did you see that whole play happen? Dwight Howard just doesn't have the the leadership skills yet to take that team to where it needs to be. The maturity. Yeah, he's just a little boy. He's just a little boy. But this is a big deal, man, because, well, for one, if you're a guy like Dwight Howard, you cannot let the opposing player's center get under your skin to the point where you're throwing elbows at dudes' heads. I mean, Dwight Howard is, is... the one guy that Orlando needs no matter what right and he's out there getting himself it's suspended I mean it's just a just a bad bad move and especially this late in the series Orlando's up 3-2 on Philadelphia but now Dwight Howard's out for game six and you almost you know you almost know already going in that Philadelphia is going to take that game and push it to game seven and then it comes is Orlando a, a mature enough team like you said it you know, their leader is Dwight Howard, and he's not much of a leader. Are they a mature enough team to to pull through no, in a Game 7 against Philadelphia? Their main, their main leader is the spaz artist, and that's Stan Van Gundy. He has oh, no yeah. composure. Oh. Um, and the players bad. even mock him and stuff. So I don't, I don't think, or I think Orlando talent-wise has what it takes to be an NBA championship team, just not the maturity. Yep. I, they're, you know, they're a few years off. And had, uh, had Jameer Nelson not went down earlier on, you know, who knows if we would even be looking at game six and seven. You know what I mean? It, he was a big, big difference maker uh, at the point for, you know, for Orlando. Obviously, all the attention goes to Dwight Howard, but Jameer Nelson it should got it should have got a lot of credit for how good Orlando was this year, even though he's not here for the playoffs. Right. Uh, let's look, look. Let's look. Okay. I will just say that LeBron is averaging 32 points, 11 rebounds, and 7 assists in the playoffs. In the playoffs. Yeah. 